What's going on you guys? I have another Dell Inspiron 3670. This is going to be a teardown again. And this will be number 60. So this is the screwdrivers I'm going to be using, Phillips head. This is the medium one, the flat head, and the medium one. We need all four. So let's go. Get this on the side and show you guys the back. So I'll show you guys the model of it. So yeah, this one's got a HDMI VGA ports, four USB ports, and a LAN port. And the power supply in here is 290 watts. So I'm gonna lay it down like this. So There's gonna be two screws here in the back. He's gonna slide to the left. Yeah, first what I'll do is guys, I'm gonna remove the front cover here. It's plastic. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, there's a two and a half inch. Let me show you guys. Uh, there's a two and a half inch uh, hard drive in here. I have to remove it. So let's hold by two screws here. I'm gonna disconnect the state and power cable. So now, what I will do is I'm going to disconnect it right here in the front also, just by one screw. And I will go ahead and remove the, see this optical drive here, it's got two screws here. Disconnect the SATA and power cable. And it's going to slide to the right. So, what I will do, I will remove the. Here's your look at this French route plastic. And it's got clips in here one here in the left and one in the right, right here. It's holding, you just get your finger like this, and it will come out, see that? You're gonna press on it like this, one right here. You see that clip right there? You're gonna press your finger before you pull it, remove it. Now, what I'll do is I'll move the SATA cables. side like this and disconnect the 
this is for the power for the SATA. Make sure you press on here the clip. You see that? You gotta press on it before you're gonna remove it. So don't forget. This one is uh, running a uh, eight uh, eight wire eight pin for the power supply. Also, you gotta press on this right here in the middle if you're gonna pull it. <clears throat> so what I will do is. I'm gonna disconnect the four screws in the back to gonna pull the power supply. Pull it to the left. It should come out. And this is a it's a 200, 290 watts. I'm gonna switch to the other side. <clears throat> I'm gonna disconnect the memory. card with Bluetooth. There's one screw here in the left side right here. Yeah, you have to remove. And remove the VD card. So there's a clip right here, you see that? I think like this. You hold it like that and you pull it. So you're gonna hold your finger like this, then you pull the VD card out at the same time. Now, what I will do is, I'm gonna remove the SSD here. This is 20, M.2280, M and it's only hold by one screw. Now, what I will do is I'm gonna disconnect the CPU heat sink cooler. And it's got the four, two in the top, two in the bottom. The CPU, I'm gonna leave it on. Maybe the last part I remove. I need to get a paper towel and wipe out the thermal compound off the CPU first. So 
So now will be the last part is we're gonna remove, uh, I'm gonna start from the bottom. I'm gonna remove the screws here. So it looks like it's got one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight screws you have to remove. Also, you see that 2280 screw here, you also have to remove, so it'll be total, that's another one you have to remove, don't forget. Here we're in the middle. One here, also on top metal. And one in the left corner. So total, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So total will be nine screws. Don't forget, total nine screws you have to remove from the motherboard. Now, I will go ahead and pull the motherboard out. When you do that, it's just gonna hold like this. You're gonna grab it right here. It should come out gently. Down the side. So here's the motherboard. I'm gonna go and pull out the CPU remove. So here's the CPU. And don't forget, you guys probably have to replace the battery since this computer is already let's do manufactured in 2017. It's already 2022, so it's about over five years. So. I'd probably recommend get the battery replaced. I already did that. So use the motherboard. It's like a micro ATX, but a little bit wider. And use the inside. See you guys at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.